Hello guys, I'm back, Patrick from the Backyard Science Lab, and today I'm in Lockport, New York for the week, and as a little mini experiment, I was thinking of Pop Rocks, and no, I've been thinking about this for a while, and over that time, one of my favorite YouTubers, The Action Love, has posted a video of carb trying to carbonate soda with Pop Rocks, and while that's already been done, I'm going to try some other Pop Rocks things. And so if you don't know what Pop Rocks are, there are these little candies that come in a container like this. These are strawberry flavored and there are these little red candies that when you put the, them in your mouth, let me see if you guys can hear this. Pop. And now this is because there are these little candies with little tiny pockets of carbon dioxide inside. These are popping really good now, but I wanted to try some things with these. And now to see this, um, to see this up close, I wanna put a little bit of water on this plate. Because how it pops is that the candy coating around these gas bubbles, when dissolved by water or melted or whatever, those little air pockets explode. And so I'm gonna take a couple of these and pour it in here. So, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but they're actually um, bubbling. I, I can definitely hear them. I can definitely hear them. Um, and they're definitely giving off little tiny bubbles in the water. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is kind of interesting. I can also see that some of the water around the Pop Rocks is turning kind of red. I'm guessing that's because of the dissolved um, candy. Oh, those are some bigger bubbles. I think that those bigger bubbles are because when those tiny little gas bubbles are forming, sometimes they can collide to become bigger gas bubbles. Um, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Also, these melt or dissolve really, really well. Um, when I was actually trying this, some of mine were melting while I was out here. Um, and I'm not sure why, but one of the things is that it contains lactose uh, milk, uh, which I wonder if it's a dissolving agent there. But yeah, those are interesting there. Well, while those sit, we can look at those later. I wanted to test a common myth, or not myth, we can test it out now even though it's been tested before, about so about Pop Rocks and soda. And now this has been debunked that you can't explode or nothing bad will happen, but I can tell you that um, I had a friend that tried this and said that he wasn't feeling all that great. So I wanted to see how this visual was myself. So I have Waterloo Black Cherry, which isn't necessarily a soda, but it's a carbonated flavored water, so it should still have a carbonated result. Um, I'm gonna pour a little of this in here. Doesn't look all that carbonated. Um, and then I'm gonna pour some water in here and see if I can see a difference when I pour some Pop Rocks in. Okay, that looks about equal. And I think this is a fair, um, fair thing your stomach of course your stomach has acid in it which may be the results from what exactly happens inside your stomach but I just wanted to see what Pop Rocks in soda did I'm gonna take some of these watermelon Pop Rocks here You can probably hear these. A lot of these are popping pretty violently, so I'm trying to speak up. Um, yeah, this one's fizzing a lot. I think that's because it's also uh, taking some of the carbonation out of the soda. This one's fizzing too, but it looks like it's all coming from the Pop Rocks. Um, I can actually feel an updraft of carbon dioxide or air coming out of here. It's quite a lot. Um, kind of if you've ever opened a can of soda, you can kind of feel that air coming out, that pressurized air. 
Yeah, they're also getting much smaller and it looks like they're dissolving. That's interesting. Um, just as a little result here, I don't see anything huge happening though. It doesn't look unlike um, Coke and Mentos if you've ever seen that. And uh, I would say that, but Coke and Mentos is actually only the carbonation of the Coke that's spewing out, um, just as a very short period of time that's spewing out. It's not giving like an explosive reaction or anything, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, I wonder if most of it is just, uh, that you feel from soda and Pop Rocks, is just maybe the um, carbonation from the Pop Rocks and the soda mixing at a short period of time. It creates a lot of uh, discomfort. These are pretty loud. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that since I have my personal mic on. Um, yeah, this is actually really interesting. Let's see if I can give a little bit more of an up close here. So you can see these here, um, they're bubbling and fizzing. You can see that the ones that are dissolving here, are actually the redness of it is falling to the bottom. These ones, the Pop Rocks are floating. Uh, I think that's probably because of some of the carbonation and soda sticking to them. Kind of like a nucleation point. There's a bug on me. Okay. Uh, ooh. There's a couple of really big pops in here um, that are pushing a lot of... There's a lot of carbonation coming out of this carbonated one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I even see a lot of carbonation coming off of this one. It almost looks like it's carbonated, but I'm pretty sure that's all because of the um, pop rocks. Oh, it's just plain water there. Okay. So... So I put some Pop Rocks in this water, uh, and I let it dissolve for a little bit to see if there was any carbonation in it. And so I want to open it. I don't feel any carbonation in it. Uh, there's no Pop Rocks left in it anymore, although I can see some swirls of what looks like sugar in there. Uh, so I'm going to open this in here, see if it has any kiss. I'm not sure if that came out. I might try to replay it, but I did hear a little bit of a hiss. Let me see if I have all the carbonation. It smells really good. If I have all the carbonation out of it. Yeah, it feels a lot less. I'll try to get that uh, replayed in editing. But yeah, that is interesting. So I think there was too much candy per carbonation ratio, or carbon dioxide ratio for it to um, do anything there. But uh, one thing I want to do with these is try them. And now, I'm not sure how they're going to taste because I think this one might be a tiny bit carbonated, but I think that they're uh, going to have a lot of candy. So, that's the uncarbonated one. That one just tastes like a deflated, if you ever had like a deflated cherry soda or something. This one, maybe science. Uh, well, I don't think neither of them are good that you would try to recarbonate your sodas with. But it's interesting. It's not horrible. It kind of just tastes like watermelon and strawberry flavored uh, water, carbonated water. It does. It has a little bit of this cherry flavor from the water leaf still in it. Um, not sure about that. So I have one more experiment I want to try here. And that is that in all these experiments, I've had a lot of water and a little bit of Pop Rocks. So what I want to try is putting a little bit of water in a lot of Pop Rocks. So I didn't plan this well, so I'm going to go get a little bit more water to try this last experiment. Okay, so I have a little bit of water and I have this full pack of Pop Rocks. I'm going to try to open it just enough that I can put the water in but not too much that I can't do anything else with it. I'm gonna save a couple of these. I wanna try these. Uh, good Pop Rocks taste test too here. So, I have my water here. I'm gonna try to pour it the best that I can and then just let it sit while I seal it up. I 
That was just a little bit of water. And you see it from the side? Looks like it's inflating. Just a tiny, tiny bit, it looks like it's starting to inflate. I'm gonna try to close this up more. Oh. Oh. This one turns into gum. This looks like it's inflating. I'll say that. It's like, has a little bit more puff to it here. Hmm. This one's very interesting. Um, it's still popping a lot, which is good. Um, since I wasn't sure if I put enough water in there. But it still looks like there's enough water for all these to dissolve. Yeah, this is actually getting really puffy now. Like, I had it almost like vacuumed, sealed when I had it. But this is getting pretty puffy. Uh, I think a little bit of the air is escaping there. Um... hear that at all? I don't think it's, this one is a gum one, I didn't realize that. I don't think it's popping as violently as some of the others, but it is still popping a lot. Uh, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute for the bubbling to, and popping to stop and see how it goes, how it is. So we're back, this is mostly popped here i don't think there's much more and you can actually see it's fairly plump here it has a lot of um pressure against it and so some of this might have been our doing um when we put the water in but i think that it has gained a tiny bit of pressure so i'm going to open this up here you can actually tell already that it's lost a lot of pressure here lost a lot of pressure here uh ooh, it's very sticky and smells like gum i guess that's because it is gum but i kind of want to dissect this open <laughs> Fortunately, there's not a um, smell o vision yet, but it smells a lot like Pop Rocks. Um, yeah. And it chewed up, so it's still in this Pop Rocks form. There's just. There's actually. It's actually kind of formed into a clump here. Um, see if you guys can see that at all. Oops. Um, that's weird how that turned out. It did gain some pressure though, which is interesting. This showed pressure, I think, a lot better because something like this wouldn't expand. A bag like this will expand when pressure is to it. This won't. Um, so yeah. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Kind of like a mini experiment here. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. But um, this is really cool, finding these properties of pop rocks. If they gain pressure, how they how they carbonate, is it bad to drink um, pop rocks and soda? And even tasting the properties of pop rocks. Um, but yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video.